it all comes from something I've walked through, driven through, you know, dreamed of. I mean, it, it has to start with something. You spent two hours out there, like you, you soaked it in, you photographed it, and you know, maybe you sketched it, maybe you even did a study. It's been so internalized and it's been experienced in such a vivid way that I'm like... You know, that's why color is such an amazing thing to have as a guiding light, because, you know, no matter how fundamentally the painting's breaking down and not working, or you're shifting dramatically from the composition. If you can keep it pointed towards being tough on yourself about the color, then, then usually the other stuff will fall in place. To do something that started from nothing and has had such a, at times, rocky road through it, and to think that you're not gonna break through, that's the thing that's really weird. I mean, there's been paintings that I feel like I am digging through limestone and I have 10 miles left to go mm -hmm. and all of a sudden that one move or that that one adjustment it just it breaks straight through and and you're just like oh my god like oh my god oh my god oh my god don't touch don't, anything don't, don't, don't screw it up but the whole left side of this painting isn't finished so I got to touch something I mean it's really that trying to hold that those moments throughout the whole painting. And, you know, you hope that they come in a natural progression, but they never really do. I mean, at this point, I'm not intentionally forcing struggle on myself. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, it's natural. Yeah, it comes natural. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, it's an imperfect process. Yeah, it's more of an art. Yeah, more it's... like painting. <laughs>